Thanks for joining me for MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're talking about friction welding compared to electron beam welding. Today we're going to talk about electron beam welding uh, and the difference between that and friction welding. Uh, friction welding, traditional friction welding, electron beam welding compete against each other uh, every once in a while, but there are some significant differences uh, between the two. So we have a diagram here to help explain uh, electron beam welding if you're not as familiar with it. So we're using a beam of electrons to impinge upon the material uh, and it's going to traverse along the weld seam uh, leaving a wake of molten material. So we're melting material in an EB weld that re-solidifies. It is a fusion welding process compared to friction welding which is a solid state process. So the electron beam is going to be traversing along the weld seam in order to uh, make this weld. Uh, it's done in a controlled environment. Uh, the nice thing is there's no post-weld machining with EB welding. You're going to do all of your machining pre-weld. You're going to put it in this controlled environment uh, and you're going to make this weld. Uh, you will have to do some post-weld inspection uh, because if the beam doesn't impinge far enough, you could have a defect at the back side of the weld or if it goes too far, uh, obviously it can leave a defect at the back of the weld. So you'll want to be able to detect that in inspection. You can repair an EB weld, but it decreases the life of the component. Now let's compare it to traditional friction welding. If you would imagine this piece being uh, the section view uh, of, a, of a thin wall tube, uh, and this electron beam is actually making uh, a traverse al along the outside diameter of the tube, uh, that's how this could be, could be looked at. Traditional friction welding, you don't need to do the pre-weld machining, uh, but the friction weld is going to leave uh, a weld flash that may need to be removed. Uh, and in order to get the tight tolerances that you might expect, you're probably going to do some post-weld machining. So it's not done in an atmosphere. Uh, you uh, there's very little pre-machining that you need to do, but there will be post-machining. The biggest difference between the two processes is that a, a friction weld is a solid state joining process. So you're getting parent material strength in most cases compared to uh, a melted product uh, and therefore with an EB weld, you may have to increase the thickness of the part in order to get the joint strength that you want. So MCI does not do electron beam welding. We do do various types of traditional friction welding as well as low force friction welding. And if you have a sample that you want us to demonstrate for you using friction welding, we'd be happy to weld those parts for you in our manufacturing services department. Thank you for joining us for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. For more information on friction welding solutions, please visit our website at mtiwelding.com.